Hello, good people, and welcome to Finest Goals Hub. Here, we learn, we connect, and we grow. Welcome to the first edition of Money Matters with Excel. This series, we are going to show you tips and tricks that you can use to create templates in Excel to help you better manage your money or your finances. This is our first episode, and here we are going to learn how to set up a basic income and expense template in Excel. So join me in the next few minutes and let's go through this together. So we start off with an understanding of how to enter data. So when you spend, when you receive money, you can use Excel to do the recording. You can also enter it in an exercise book or any jotter and then later transfer the information here. But what is important is that you should enter the data in such a way that the items that would help you analyze your money are in distinct columns. So as an example, you realize that I have my dates all in column A. There's no other thing here apart from dates. The description of the transaction that brought in the money or took away the money are all in column B, okay? And then the amount, okay? Here, it doesn't matter. People adopt negative for expenses and positive for inflows. But as long as you have another column that shows you what is expense and what is income, it should be fine. So again, in type, I have expense and income, okay? And I can have my account or category here where I assign where each transaction goes. In subsequent videos, we'll learn how to set up what we call a data validation or drop down list to make this assignment or categorization easier. So this is the kind of layout that makes it easy to calculate or analyze in Excel. Now, when you have this, you've entered it in a range of cells. For our purpose, it is good to transform this data into a store or a container we call a table in Excel. It makes it easier to call formulas. So standing in here, you can go to insert and then you can insert a table. Okay, or you can easily press Ctrl T and that would insert a table around. So here, I've now inserted a table. Anytime I step in the table, you realize that there's a new menu in the ribbon called table design, okay? And I can use this menu to name my table. Okay, so for this purpose, let's name it transactions. This makes it easier to call the table even if I'm not in the same worksheet. So with transactions done, Let's attempt to calculate our total income on one side and then our total expense on the other and then our net like that. So for starters, these are the metrics or the key indicators that we are interested in. We can use several things to several ways to do this. We can use some if, we can use some product, we can go through pivot tables, but it is easier to start off with some if. So basically what SUMIF does is that it will sum a range of numbers based on the criteria or condition that you give it. So what we are trying to do here, we want to total or sum up all income, okay, that has come through. And we are going to use this column that has expense and income as the criteria range or column. So stepping in here, I'll go equal to sum if for a single criteria, okay? There's also some ifs if there are many criteria. So sum if, because I have a table already, the range is where my criteria sits, okay? So I'll call the name of the table, which is transactions, bring a square bracket, then I have all my columns listed here. So here, I will choose type. So this is from type that I am interested in all the entries that have income, okay? So this is my criteria. Then I'll bring my comma and then I'm summing from the amount column. So I'll go transactions again and then I sum from the amount column. Okay, so with this basic formula, I've simply brought in my total income. Now to make it easier, instead of typing in income, you have income already here, so you could actually just reference it, okay, and then I have my total income. Now, I'm going to just copy this because you realize that by now, 
is going to be the same as my expense, right? So I'll paste this and then just simply switch the criteria to expense. And then I have my total expense here. Okay, my net is simply going to be the difference between my income and my expense. Okay, so if you set it up this way, your table is responsive. The idea is that if you bring in new data, let's say for subsequent months, okay, and then let's say you paste it down here, you don't have to recalculate. This basic setup that you've done here would update. So you realize that now I've overdrawn my position with the new entries that I added. It's dynamic, so you can have these formulas intact. So that is for starters. Just use this to set up your income and expense in a very dynamic way. In subsequent videos, we'll learn how to analyze by category. We'll also learn how to set up data validation to make the assignment of uh, to make the assignment of the accounts easier. So please practice. If you want access to the worksheet, I'll share it on our YouTube channel under this video. Download and practice along. Thank you for watching.